What's up, everybody? Lockout man, right here. <laughs> man, I had a good time tonight. A good, good time tonight. Man, make sure you guys go and check out the Dial Face Trucker with the, the name of the video. Dial Face Trucker says variant is legit. Make sure you guys go and check out that video, man, because man, we we it was just a good time. Good questions, good time with people. Everybody in the LOM was there. Man, for the replay game, yo, show that video some love by getting the lights up on that video, man. If you guys is interested in variant, make sure you check out that video first. All right? Definitely check out that video first, okay? So, man, man, woo! Uh, day was good today. It wasn't as, it wasn't as bad as it was yesterday or in this case, day before yesterday, uh, today was pretty straightforward. You know, I dropped a load, picked up a load, made it down here to Mississippi, posted up at, um, I don't know where the hell I'm at. I, I know I'm at this truck stop that got plenty of parking. Shout out to Trucker's Path, man. I'm telling you, you it, the, the thing about parking is that we're not looking at the big we're, we're not looking at the big picture when it comes to truck drivers parking now i know for a fact that parking is a huge problem especially at the majors and i'm talking pilot flying jays uh petros tas and loves of course being at the majors around four o'clock five o'clock that's when they start getting filled up but if you don't have Trucker's Path, download it. All right? Download Trucker's Path. And I, I, I kid you not, Trucker's Path, the, the best trucking app on the planet that you can have right now. You can look up and see that mom and pop truck stop down the street has truck parking and truck parking available you don't have to pay you don't have to reserve or nothing like that now i know in the beginning like when in in the morning when you do your when you do your uh trip planning they always say well when you do your trip planning go ahead and and figure out where you're going to end up at at the end of the day that's not always the case because you're not you you might not be able to make it to that pilot that you reserved that parking space for you might not be able to make it to that loves you might not be able to make it to that petro all right you might not be able to make it to that so yeah trip planning first thing in the morning yeah you you could trip plan and give you and give it eta but when you run into traffic, when you run into issues, let me tell you something. Hold, you know what? Hold that thought. A few moments later. Woo! As I was saying, I am back. Sorry for that little hiatus for a second, but I am back. So as I was saying, man, you when you when you trip plan, you you really can't have a good outcome throughout the day. Take for example what happened today now i'm on my way out of uh out of texas via i-10 heading you know heading into louisiana now and i'm driving down i-10 and i happen to notice on the west side on the uh on the westbound coming into texas there was a major accident that literally shut down the highway for miles. Man, y'all y'all see that video right there? Crazy. And that was like that that was like only a a tip of the iceberg 
a little bit further down, they shut down um they they shut down the highway and they was you know all the drivers had to go off of the highway. Now in situations like that, it is great to have a C B. I'm telling you. In situations like that, you, you could get on a horn and be like breaker breaker one nine, you know, what's going on on I ten heading west? Cause I think I was heading east. Yeah. I 10 heading west. Yeah, you know, they routing everybody off the highway. Well, which lane I'm supposed to be in? Well, if they routing everybody off the highway, you should know you should be in that right lane. So getting, you know, getting a CB and having that uh having that conversation with truck drivers that's you know that's in the middle of it or in the or in the front. They, they got eyes on what's going on and they can relay that good information back to you so that you can make the adamant decision, you know, the decision to get over in the right lane and be in the lane that you're supposed to be in. I'm just saying, but it was crazy. So as far as truck parking though, okay, as far as truck parking, when I was telling you guys to get truckers path, that is the if you're a new driver when you come into the industry that is the one app that you need to get because when it's time to shut down for the night just know that the majors is going to be full it's going to be a hard time finding adequate parking in the major truck stops with truckers path you can find restaurants that got truck parking you can find hotels that got truck parking. You can find mom and pops uh, truck stops that got parking. Now, I know what I said before that some mom and pop truck stops are free, which there are. But then there is a couple that, yes, you do have to pay, you know, ten dollars for ten hours or or, you know, or or for whatever the case you know if you doing a 34 or something like that they'll probably cut it in half but but if you drive for a company that reimburse you for your for your parking you, you you don't have no problem all right make sure you get truckers path man i'm just saying you i, I cannot stress how much that this app helps me out on a daily basis man like when it comes time for me to shut down now usually i i use my bravo app because i'm a poker player and i can see what what uh casinos in the areas and i can park at a casino because nine times out of ten casinos have truck parking as well such as la Burge. i can't pronounce the casino right but La Burge in, Black, uh, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, truck parking. All right. Uh, Hollywood Casino up in Ohio, truck parking. So you don't have to stress yourself out for looking for, you know, looking for parking at the end of, at the end of your shift if you have trucker's path. All right. Y'all want to know what today's commentary is about? Stay tuned. Ryan Little. <laughs>Hey guys, lockout men, what's going on? Hey, I, I am back with another commentary for you guys. Of course, it comes from this post that I love sharing with you guys every night. And then I get it ready for you in the morning. You know, around 10-ish, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to everybody that gave me some suggestions on when I on when I supposed to uh post my driver. Uh, surveys and I know one commenter says yo stack them up and do it to uh, do it twice a week or something like that bro I got stacks <laughs> I got stats on stats on stats so when I get home Saturday I'm gonna edit it all up and and spread it you know spread it out 
But I appreciate you guys coming in there. If you guys have any questions that you want me to ask these drivers on the surveys, leave it in the comments below, man, so that uh, I can integrate you guys' questions into the uh, into the driver survey. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this post right quick. I can't even lie. I'm feeling so defeated today. It's not even due to my performance. I just never worked for any company that shows that that shown this much disregard for an employee in my life. I spent 10 hours on the side of the road. My car con wasn't working due to whatever it was wrong with it. And the folks wouldn't even make so much as a phone call. Damn it, man. So let's let's back up for a little bit. All right. Let's back up. Now you was broke down for 10 hours. That's unheard of. That's unheard of. And that's ridiculous. You know, when you call breakdown, when you call breakdown and let them know that your truck broke down and it's taking roadside that long to come to, uh, to, to come and see what's the matter with the truck or something like that that's crazy i mean i i mean i i spent maybe an hour to two hours max max you know what they should have did was to find out what's the hold up like what's going on bro 10 hours man you know 10 hours to get to my driver to see what's the matter with him you know they should have called somebody else to see if they can come a little bit quicker as far as crawl comes i'm not a fan never you know i the first the first computer was the driver tech wasn't a fan second computer was a crawl com wasn't a fan because the crawl com always crapped out always third computer i had i lo i like it was a people net and the computer that I'm using now is a Sam Sarah. So out of all of them, I'm a fan of the Sam Sarahs. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, a, Sam, I'm, I'm, I'm a Sam Sarah fan. <laughs> you know, you could put it on your phone. You, 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 you got the tablet, push and go. <laughs> That's it, push and go. She says she didn't even get to eat then once i got rolling by the time i found a spot to try to park the truck is acting up again to make it all to to make it all the worse this is my first week solo and i've been trying to swap trucks since i got it this is the third breakdown in less than a week mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm third breakdown in less than a week and you're having a hard time uh switching trucks trying to get a trying to get a decent truck to help you make money see when you come up in this game that's the that's part of the criteria is the equipment you don't want to constantly get in a truck that constantly breaks down you're not making no money you're not making no money so if they put you in a piece of shit, you got to let them know like, yo, man, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. I need something that's going to that's going to work. I need something that's not going to break down every damn day. Now, we know that this is equipment. Of course, breakdowns happens. But every day. Every day in less than a week, three times. Come on, bro. And, and this is your first week being a solo driver? Come on, bro. You know, help me help you help me make some money by keeping me in the truck that's running. Man. So you make it to a truck stop and it started acting up again, even after they came out after 10 hours to fix whatever problem it was. They should have told you. <laughs> They should have got a toe and, and, and told you. Now, see, what you should have <laughs> it's time to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, 
But if your truck broke down three times in less than a week and you just started solo, it, it, it's time to put your name out there to find a decent company that has decent equipment and that can pay you well. Some some companies, and I, I don't understand it, like, you know, like, I, Wooster Motorways, great company. Awesome office. Great dispatcher in Joe, all right? But the equipment, mm-mm. The equipment wasn't all that high. Uh, 2016, 2017, uh, it didn't have a lot of miles on there, but still you know it was still the old equipment and to be honest with you it didn't break down on me as much um when i got out to houston it broke down uh but they took care of me well for that week it took them a uh, it took them literally a week to uh repair the truck because being that it was a 2016 the part the the part that they needed that wasn't made for that truck no more so they had to like literally modify it modify the area that it go that the part goes in because it's they only make it for the newer trucks so i i'm gonna say as far as the equipment it wasn't that bad i had i had maybe like like three breakdowns you know the one in houston the one in georgia and I think the one in Ohio, because the uh, alternator, the alternator blew on, um, blew on the truck, and uh, I, I couldn't go nowhere with that. So, but um, but still, you know, like newer, like like mega carriers like to put you know new drivers in in pieces of shit that they know that somebody else messed up, you know try try to put them in a newer a newer truck you know 19 20 21 not 16 17 18. now listen all right since you said that this that that this happened to you uh three times in less than a week I, i'm not sure what company you work for but there's something about that company that's not that's that's not giving you the value you deserve you know if you feel unhappy with the company and feel unvalued then it's time to find another company that will appreciate you there's companies out here that do appreciate drivers make sure you check out dial face trucker and her and her thoughts on variant if you got the if you got at least a year give them a try and they'll definitely put you in the 2020 right off the whip all right so you you know the first maybe couple of months you might not have no problems with that truck the truck that you got it it, it was fucked up from the beginning and I'm, I'm gonna say that they actually know all right all right so here's some here's some tips though um if you get in the situation and nine times out of ten you will um if you so here's some tips okay so here's some tips for you if you get into a situation like that again if your truck breaks down and you gotta wait for uh wait for road service more than two hours then try to have some food on the truck um if you have a refrigerator make sure you have some food in there water um especially in the winter time you definitely gonna need blankets uh extra food snacks stuff like that while you're waiting so that you won't be in the situation that um that that this one guy that was in you know when his truck broke down his company you know he he left the truck to go probably to a hotel or something like that and then they came back at him talking about he abandoned the truck how you abandon the truck if 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 road service took too damn long to come in and and see what was the matter with the truck i'm just saying i'm just saying so just make sure you have a lot of gear and a lot of food and you know covers 
and all that good stuff so you'll be good while you're waiting for that road service all right that's going to do it for tonight's commentary right quick i appreciate you guys being here if you like uh content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share hit that bell and that all button and make sure you get the lights make sure you get the lights up i appreciate you hitting that button to watch the video thank you very much if you like it why don't you consider joining i need something to drink you know what i'm saying i'm coughing and all like that but i need something to drink all right until next time everybody y'all check uh <sighs> Until next time, everybody, y'all check out the Dow Face interview that I did with her about Variant and the driver's uh, surveys, the MTCs, um, and everything else that I'm bringing to you on this channel, man. I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>